Hi families, it's Mr. Watson with today's math tutorial video to help you help your kids at home. Today, we're doing lesson 3.4. The objective today is to teach the kids different ways to organize numbers in a longer addition problem to help them get an easier answer. We have uh, been t talking in class a lot about different ways to do math that makes it easier to do it completely in your head, no fingers, no beans, no nothing like that. We have our doubles, which is our, the double, all of their doubles facts, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 6. They should all know those. Doubles plus 1. This one's a little bit trickier. So starting with 4 plus 4, I know that that's 8. Then 4 plus 5 is only one more. That's 9. Combos of 10, 8 plus 2, 7 plus 3, and so on. The, the two digits that we can mix together to make a 10. Counting on 1, 2, or 3. The idea is that this is very easy to do mentally. 8 plus 3, you just start at 8 and count on silently in your head and get the answer 11. And adding with 0. Any number that you add to 0 is the number. And adding 10 to a single digit number, like 10 plus 7, gives you 17. All right? Using those strategies, we're now looking at a problem like this. 3 plus 3 plus 7. You're going to see it on the homework two different ways. And they want to know two different ways of solving it. And that's, uh, the directions will say, circle the two add-ins that you started with. And add-ins are the numbers you add in an addition problem. So, for example, in this first one, we have 3 plus 3 plus 7, and I see a double. I see 3 plus 3. And I know, because I know my doubles, that 3 plus 3 is 6. And then I can do 6 plus 7. That's a doubles plus 1. I know that my answer is 13. Then they have to think of another way that they could solve that problem. Well, I could also say 3 plus 7 is one of my combos of 10. So I might circle 3 plus 7, and then I'm only doing 10 plus 3, and that will also give me 13. Certainly if they get different answers, they need to go back and kind of double check how they got there. But basically, this is what we're looking for and why we're doing it this particular way tonight. And I actually have some helpers sitting in front of me right now. Give me a thumbs up if you think you know how to do this. Oh, well. I see a lot of thumbs. You might not see the thumbs, but they're there. So that's it for tonight's homework. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you at school tomorrow.